Crafting Vicky here with you and I'm gonna be doing the challenge that Nick the Booksmith gave us so I wanted to share with you the items that I'm gonna be using before I start using them just because I want to make sure that uh, you guys understand so I used I'm using this 12 by 12 piece of fabric it's a seri fabric so the colors uh, do change on it so I thought that would be pretty. I'm using this 12 by 12 scrapbooking paper from Tim Holtz. This is going to be my book um, cover. So I chose this little one because I just thought it was very ornate and I didn't have to do anything on the top. I wish I had enough tea stain paper and I don't and I don't want to spend hours and hours doing that so I'm going to be using white paper. Um, so I'm using walnut stain. Hopefully with the walnut stain I can do light or darker uh, colors. This is going to be my thread and this is going to be my needle and this is going to be uh, my glue of choice and these are going to be the scissors I'm going to be using. So yeah, so we'll see if I can do this challenge. Hopefully yes and hopefully it doesn't look too bad. So I'm back and my desk is a jumble of disaster area because well I finished my little book I did it I did the challenge um, and I didn't even use up everything I'm left with this piece of sari fabric that I could have used uh, but didn't use um, I've got tons of papers here um, torn paper pieces and whatever um, this paper here is a uh, pretty good uh, quality paper it's um let me check two seconds okay oh, yes, i'm back so the paper i had i had chosen is Amer mill color cup paper it's a 28 pound um paperweight and i made this chunky monkey <laughs> and i actually made a closure unfortunately um i wish i had taken my fabric more in the 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 longer sense because it was it, it's just just enough um, but I still think it's really cute and you don't have to put as much stuff in it but I really went to town uh, it has two signatures of 16 pages each so 32 pages overall 64 pages I've um, done the the closure and hidden it um, under this so this little book measures almost six inches by four inches and it's an inch and a half now so all the paper has been torn because as I had told you my my um, the scissors I chose were these and there was no way I was cutting out paper with these uh, the reason I had chosen these scissors was because they're very pointy they're my um, the scissors I use to fussy cut and uh, by the way they don't work too well on fabric <laughs> I discovered um, but they do work to make great shapes and my goal for this was to make um, to find a way to make stencils so that I could do this so I distressed all the edges all the torn edges and then I did some stenciling on some uh, here I had another stencil which had uh, that I had made which had little rectangles let me bring you down so it had little rectangles in it I used a Tim Holtz paper actually even that I had extra left so you'll see later on that I used it um, just as in the talk spot because um, I really like the distressed edge and basically like just distressing it by myself um, I found that it had a it gave a lot of character so here this was a paper I used to do uh, some of the edging so it was really really dark so I made a pocket out of it I thought it was smart and then I used um, Tim Holtz so it's all Tim Holtz um, paper the, the the page that I shared with you um, and this this is what I did with this edge is things like this to kind of distress the the paper oops I forgot to put my little tuck 
So I have another one here, a little tag, where I glued uh, some Seri silk. I had put it aside because I wanted it to glow, glue properly and I didn't want it to get stuck on my pages. Here I sewed all around the page. I just thought it would make an interesting little thing. Um, I'm really glad I chose this thread because I was able to do that uh, in a few places. Here's another little stencil that I made by just making uh, little holes in the paper. You will see here is uh, the flower. So basically I use this to make my corners. So I just folded out the paper and made the shape and then open it up and voila, I've got a flower shape and I was able to do the corners that way. Uh, here's another little pocket and I've done a lot of, um, I've added a lot of little papers like this. So this is really a writing journal, like there's lots of space to write. Here there's two pockets with two little, uh, two little um, papers in it and I did this with using my scissors obviously because that's all I had here is another shape that I had cut out here I made uh, a little tag using uh, multiple uh, pieces of paper glued together. This here was that here that I used to uh, So I made myself a shape and then I used it to uh, go along the um, the page Here I made a little tuck spot with uh, one of the ephemera pieces So that's the first signature There's another little tuck spot here, that's the stencil that I used to make this. So I included it because I thought it was kind of neat to have it in there. So basically what I had done is I had uh, folded the paper like this and then just made little snippets and that's what happened with it. So I was pretty happy with the result actually. Uh, initially the, um, the one that I used here wasn't working too well, so I had to open up the holes a little bit bigger, bigger. but uh, you'll see it later on. So here's another little tuck spot. So like I said, and I made little booklets. So I sewed a few pages together, made a little booklet and included it. Here's more of that stenciling on the corners. The rest, the other side of the page. Here I made a, a little pocket, so you can you can open it up, and if you open it up, then you can this becomes a writing space. But I wanted it to stay shut, and I couldn't figure out what to do because usually I would have been able to put a paper clip, but I didn't have a paper clip because it's Nick's challenge and paper clips. Well, I wouldn't have chosen a paper clip because anyway, it's it's just one paper clip and you don't want to do... I was able to do this before and because I'm on camera, I won't be able to probably. So, here we go. Ah, I had it. Um, so anyway, um, I, I did this using... Um, I, I thought about it and thought about it and thought about it some more and I couldn't figure it out and then I saw my thread and I figured okay I'll do a hole and I'll um, I'll do it uh, that way but then the um, what happened was it it was all very nice but it wasn't holding so then I decided to do, do two holes my thread just doesn't want to go back in ah, here we go so I did two holes that way and uh, come on, has to have a really sharp little edge in order to go through the hole. Maybe if I made the hole a little bit bigger, where did my needle go? So I made the hole using my needle. Same thing for the, um, the signature. I made myself a template and 
poke the holes with um, my needle. But uh, I have to admit that it was challenging to say the least because the, um, it's, it's pretty good paper so there's a lot of thickness to it. And somewhere around here must be my little template. Where did it go? Ah, I used it to write the name of the, the paper. So yeah, so I made a little template like this and that's how I, I, I pierced it. And that's how I, and then because I couldn't write, because I hadn't chosen anything to write, I made two holes at the top so that I would remember that that was the top because obviously you can really screw it, screw it up if uh, you don't remember which one is the top and which one is the bottom. So that's my little hidden letter. Then here I made, I had some leftover uh, piece, so I made a little folder out of it and, and added some little paper and I left the top like that just because I thought it was cute. Here I, I stitch the belly band and there's another, so it was a double belly band because I figured well it's going to show on the back so might as well uh, do something with it, so double belly band. Here I just made a little flap, I just thought it was fun. Here that's the, the, the one that looks like a brick, the rectangles and you can see that I had folded it then made my little rectangles and I added um, this paper just because it makes it easy, nicer behind it and I was left with it. This is another shape that I had used so I tucked in a little piece of paper. So see this one is that one. You can see I, I used it up. This I, was the reverse so it was using the actual flower which is somewhere which is here. So it was the actual flower that I had used. So you can see I had folded the paper and how I did it. Here's another little talk spot with another little letter type of thing. Here's another little booklet. Here's a little tag. Then I put a little bit of sari silk. This is the, the one I was telling you that I made the, um, I made this stenciling from. It was this, uh, and I thought it was really, it turned out really nice with the dark because it, because there was a lot of ink used, so I used it in, as a tuck spot. And I think it's kind of fun that the elements that have been used for this journal are in there. I wanted to do something like I usually do with the doilies uh, and fold it over so that it becomes a tuck spot. And, uh, and then I'm like, well, usually I sew it. And if I just put glue, I wasn't sure that it was going to hold, so I ended up sewing it. And you can see I knotted, um, knotted it shot, so it's not moving anywhere. Uh oh, there was supposed to be something in there. Ah, so I forgot to put a little bit of something, so here we go. It's not like I don't have a ton of paper left. <laughs> Here's another little tuck spot. Here I used the leftover little pieces. Uh, this is also sewn. This one I didn't want to sew both so what I did is I used one of those pieces of paper put it like this so the bottom part is, is shut and I just had to sew the top. So that's what I did. Here I use a bit of sari silk. Here I used one of the elements that I had used. Made a little tag little tuck spot and that, that is it and then I covered the fact that I had glued the sari silk uh, to the back and uh, that is my little journal my chunky monkey I'm quite happy with how it turned out um, I think it it was quite a challenge but in the end uh, it showed me that there's there's a lot of st stuff that you can do with just scissors and some ink um, and obviously if you've got thread uh, you can sew. So yeah I managed to do it Nick. Um, I had my doubts because initially I would have loved to be able to just pick some, some foliage from my yard <laughs> and use that but uh, she soon enough uh, told us that we couldn't do that. So yeah I, uh, I did manage and I got this piece left and uh, I'm going to be putting this little book in my Etsy store just because I think it's really cute and I will be putting the, the leftover piece of sari silk with it just as a 
a souvenir of how this thing was made. So yeah, hope uh, hope you like it. Uh, go and check out Nick's challenge and all the other instructions that she did. Um, I checked out Wendy's journal. Uh, I love what she made, but then I realized that I didn't want to. I wanted this done because I didn't want to be influenced by other ladies, uh, and I wanted to find my own twist about it. And uh, so yeah, I had to get this done so that yeah, it would be done. So yeah, that's it. Bye everyone.